doing? that weird room that seemed to work that way. But are you ready to begin? Mm -hmm. All right, your time starts now. All right, how you doing everyone? Thank you for being here to hear my pitch. Um, my name is Alonzo McDowell. Um, I'm the owner uh, and CEO of Green Sky Management Group. Um, so I wanna kinda tell you about myself first before I go into uh, my pitch. But uh, one of the things is, is that before I got started on this venture, I had an idea for another venture. So, I love candles. So when I first started thinking about what I wanted to do, um, candles was what I really wanted to do. Uh, when I was in Afghanistan, I'm, in, I'm out in the heat and desert, you know, I'm smelling funky, I'm using baby wipes just to clean up. All I could think about was candles. And since I had made aromatherapy candles, that was one of the things that I saw as my big idea. But things changed, so I pivoted. I really thought about it and said, you know, here it is, I got medical discharge from the military. I'm sitting here and the idea has just blown up in my face. One of the reasons was because I had a hard time finding salespeople and then also because of my injuries, it made it hard for me to do certain things. So I pivoted. What I did at the time is my chief warrant officer was my mentor. I had deployed with him, I worked at NSA with him, um, that he helped groom me and helped prepare me for life after the military, not knowing that me and him would partner down the line. So as you can see here, my background is intelligence analyst, um, biometrics intelligence, digital network intelligence. Um, I have a master's degree in intelligence operation, a business organizational management degree. Um, and my partner himself, who operates as the, the, uh, the C, I mean, he operates as the president and also the a chief technical operator, um, he has a plethora of technical experience. As you can see, he right now is our, he's standing up Army, Army Cyber at Fort Gordon. Uh, me and him have been through the NSA um, sites. We've done it all. And once again, he's a highly technical person that I plan to pipeline uh, talent through. Because right now he has two years until he gets out. So I'm putting the load for what our business is doing. Here it is, we started off as Green Sky um, Media Group. Uh, we specialize just in branding, specialize in graphics and web. So that is my primary expertise, was the graphics, the web, uh, the web analytics, and also the branding. Well, things changed again. As we got clients, what ended up happening was they wanted more services because they wanted more than just a, a brand identity. They wanted more than just one advertising campaign. They wanted us to actually help manage their brand. So we started and changed the name to Green Sky Management Group. As you can see, well, the slide is kind of, we, our core values is passion, collaboration, insightfulness, we're an insightful company, innovation, and we're forward thinkers. So a lot of the things that we do with our clients is, we don't just, throw, we, we don't just like to look at them now, we like to see how they will develop and grow in the future. So we, we think about where they want to be, and we put that energy in helping them get to where they want to be. Not where we think they should be, but collaborating to get them to where they want to be at, in the end. Our mission. To sum it up, our mission is that uh, as a brand analytics company, that's what we do now as Green, Green Sky Management Group. So we've transitioned from a graphic and web design that just dealt with analytics from the web, web, from the web component to now 
we actually operate where we take the big data that's collected from social media, that's collected from all forms of uh, data that your company pulls in, and we strategically market, we strategically pr uh, predict where your, where your client and your target market is going to be in the present and in the future. So um, we interpret and monitorize the data for predictive analysis, to sum it up. Our core capabilities is next-gen analytics, which is, I just talked about, the big data. Big data is huge now. There's a huge market for big data. So in the big data aspect, what we deal with is the, um, the Atlantic, the, the um, excuse me, the, um, the analytics insight. We deal with the strategy. And one of the things that we've learned in the recent years is that what has happened, because I've been in operation for four years now, is that our customers are having problems understanding the security aspect of their social media activities and their business transactions with, uh, from the data from emails to the internet. So what we do is we do a paying system, which we develop a blueprint for them through a 360 vulnerability analysis. So we protect their brand from the logo all the way to their technology and how their technology is being used on social media. Uh, and everywhere between. Our branding, like I said before, we're dealing with all aspects of branding, from marketing to target marketing to, to brand management to uh, even the brand liquidity. We look at the digital integration. Digital integration is making sure that all their information across the whole, um, across the whole um, scheme of their business with their files, with their social media, is, is all integrated to work within their, their technologies, their, their iPads, their emails. And so that's where our digital integration comes in. Now, a proven concept that I will go more into uh, in our latest slides is the um, 2014 Postal Service. They did a stamp ceremony for Chief Anderson, uh, who's a Tuskegee Airman. He's the first Tuskegee Airman to receive uh, uh, a stamp. Uh, it was a four-month project. We generated uh, 70,000 in revenue, and our net was 26.5. So, why is our service important? One of the reasons is, like I said before, big data. Um, as you can see, uh, the IDC in 2017 estimates that there will be five million dollars worth of uh, business spent on big data. So that's something that we would like to get, we would like to get a piece of, because our main focus isn't on big corporations, it's on the little guy. Because there's so many small businesses that run this country, employ uh, people in this country, and their data is vulnerable. So we want to come in and work with the brand from the beginning and to secure them and provide that blueprint so that they don't have to worry about the hackers and the, the phishing and the whaling from their emails and social media data. The global, uh, the global market, as you can see right here, I mean mobile, by 2018, it's 18 billion dollars. That market is 18 billion dollars. Social media is 20 billion dollars. So that's a huge market for us to to tap into as our company grows. So let's talk about the different types of structure of your data. Big corporations, call centers, they use structured data. Small companies have they don't have the resources, nor do they have the understanding. Many of them of unstructured data. So majority of their data is scattered throughout, throughout their business structure. So all this data that they're operating, pulling in, they're using, they're marketing, they really don't understand the value of that data. So what my company seeks to do is help them interpret it and monetize it so that then they can, they can be more proficient in how they target to their different markets. And once again, they're vulnerable to attack more than your big corporations. Securing the data. Well, as everybody knows, Target, a prime example, a brand that got hacked and their reputation took a, plum, a plunge for, for a while. So, I mean, from big corporations, as you can see, all the way to the small corporations, everyone's being hacked these days because there's not enough technical analysts to be able to analyze the data of unstructured data flow that's out there. So when you look at it from the standpoint of where your data goes, you have the companies that feed the data into the cloud. You have employees that feed the data into the cloud. You have the customers that feed that same information into the cloud, which it mixes within the, 
the business content and also the private content. And so where the, where the single point of failure is small businesses because a lot of small businesses partner with larger businesses and a lot of times in between there's intellectual property that's stolen, there's client information stolen, there's all different types of information that's stolen. So even if we secure the big, the big corporations, you still have to worry about the small corporations that's not getting the attention that they need because the big corporations are having a time securing their own data. So with me having the background that I have, I want to focus more on the small market because the small market right now is not being paid attention to. You can think about how many mom and pop stores right now get hacked every day. Their Wi-Fi's get hacked, their information get hacked, their cell phones get hacked. It doesn't make the news. It's only until the big companies get hacked that everybody gets concerned. So that's some of the things that we really want to focus on, the smaller market. Another market we want to focus on is the government market. And as I go into my presentation a little more, 40% of our market is going to be government. Um, we have past performances working with the government. So this is something that I've really taken, taken on before to understand the needs of the government. And I'm not talking about the big government, but sometimes the small government. So our big markets are in you know, some of the regions like D.C., uh, Atlanta, and Texas. Uh, our economic status shows you right here. Um, small, market, small business market, subcontractors, prime market, the percentages, it's a 60-40 split. Uh, in the branding aspect, what we will start off is, for small businesses, we start off with the service packages. For the government, we're going to work with um, primes to come in as a subcontractor to kind of eat up some of the, the needs that they need to fulfill as a small business dis disabled veteran business in contracts for subs. Uh, our operations process, as you can say, we have an eight step uh, process and it's flexible. It's flexible to the customer that we're, we're dealing with. So it can be interchangeable according to their needs. So as I talked about our proof of concept, the UPS Chief Anderson um, event, there were two events that we had to put on in one day. So it was a huge event. This event, we had to coordinate from Augusta, Georgia. So we had to actually um, partner with groups in Philadelphia to actually put this event on. Our processes, we dealt with everything from the street team to the technical team, event staging, uh, media relations, volunteering, social media, goes on and on. We did it all. Some of the challenges was, like I said, we didn't have the staff, so we had to, we had to find the staff, volunteers, fundraising. That was one of the biggest things we had to find, but we made it happen. Once again, the solution was volunteers. There were 683 people that came to the event. So it was a huge success. But it couldn't have been a success until we tapped into what was going to really make it a success, and that was attaching to a brand. So we attached to Lionel Richie. He's a family friend. He was the fact that the one that made it happen, that really got that push in the end. So I want to play, play this video just to show how powerful. Uh oh. I don't think it works from this. Hi, this is Lionel Richie. I cannot tell you how excited I am and Richie, 
I cannot tell you how excited I am and just over the moon that Chief Anderson is getting his own stamp. Uh, it is the best thing for his memory, his legacy, and for the Tuskegee Airmen. I, I, I cannot believe to understand how much history I have spent with this wonderful man. In fact, he taught me how to fly. In fact, I was convinced that maybe flying was not my thing after he took me up a couple of times. He's a fabulous man. Congratulations to everyone in the family. Well-deserved. Chief, I love you. So in our last, our last month, we pushed this out on social media for a lot of our sponsors and a lot of our donors, we pushed this out. And I mean, it was unbelievable the amount of money that came in at the last minute, especially with us having a budget, a low budget, and, and needing the support that we needed. So we got all the support we needed just by attaching to the Lionel Richie brand and actually uh, moving this forward. But in the process of doing this event, we utilized all of our core talents all of them and that's what made this a proven concept that we could move forward and we could do great things with our services so our past performance in branding as you can see we've done everything from working with uh, the government to mayoral campaigns to actually uh, branding and doing stuff for the Carolina Cobras our analytics we've worked with the University of North Carolina we've worked with Lucas Films on Red Tails to promote and advertise in the Atlanta area where we did a lot of uh, predictive analysis, we did a lot of uh, um, marketing and, and so on. So, our competitive advantages. Competitive advantages is that big data is one of the hugest markets and we have an opportunity to tap into that. One of the reasons is because of the fact that we're, I'm a service connected business owner and that there are a lot, of, a lot of opportunities in the markets that we serve. Our economic model, it's a five-step model, and at the end, we want to deal with bit, metamorphosizing the business that you have, making so it looks like a completely different business after four or five years doing business with us. As you can see here, we're projected at $3.6 million by 2018. As I said, 40% of our revenue is going to come from, I mean, 80% of our revenue is going to come from the government, but on our small business, 20% is going to come in, but the 80% is going to be able to sustain us uh, our day-to-day -day activities. Here, basically, we need $150,000 to obtain our monthly needs, but it will break even after the, first, after the first month. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, and if there's any questions, I'll be thankful. I mean, I'll gladly to take them. Judges? I'll, I'll start again. Yes. Um, very well done. Thank you. Nice job. Um, question, you have, you talked about brand management. Yes. and also data analytics. Yes. And the two of those in my brain are, they do connect at some point, but they're right. really two distinctive lines of business. Yes, they are. So on the, let me jump over to the big data for a second. Okay. Um, what, what kinds of tools um, might you guys have when you're handling big data, right? right. Um, you can get some, um, some, obviously you're looking for intelligence to come out of that. Well, what's your what's your plan or what's your goal for what kind of tools you can use to do okay. that? Okay. So um, while I was in, there was a uh, service connected veteran. He's out of Baltimore area. He did all of the uh, the tool sets for NSA. So a lot of the individuals that I'm going to tap into that do the software development, the app development, are people that I serve with that have provided these tools for the government. So he's in the D.C. area. So one of the things we're talking about is kind of doing like a white label to where. I can actually get his technology on the back end, and for each customer, I can customize and brand the tool set for that individual customer. Um, one of the things is the same with the app, the app, to do the same. He does the app on the back end, and I, I, I offset the front with the graphics. So in the licensing aspect of it, we will license from him, but we will, for the client portion of it, he will deal with the techno technological back set. So the only thing that we're really doing is Branding, interpreting the data, and we're feeding off the other information to him to maintain the, the operation. And you can private label it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Um, you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you said that you.
your partner is going to be completed with the service in two years. Yes. Do you see that slowing you down or holding you back at all to get to that two-year point because he's not 100% able to participate, I guess, right now? Okay, so the greatest, all right, so the best thing that could ever happen is him not getting out. We talked about him getting out, but the pipeline of people, because he is over Cyber Command, the pipeline of people coming through the pipeline, I have a couple of uh, warrant officers, since he was, he's a CW3, he's about to make CW4. Mm -hmm. So he, there's only two Army warrant officers that's running the operation, and it's him and it's another uh, warrant officer from the, uh, North, I'm sorry, Fort Meade area. So we have a pipeline of soldiers that want to get out and work for him. We have a pipeline of individuals that work for me when I was in the military and then when I became a contractor and I was their boss. So the best thing for him to be in is as technology grows and the training grows, a lot of these individuals are going to get trained by the military. So we can come out and get a person that wants to work. Uh, a gen uh, we have a general that wants to come on board, and he's saying, I don't want to do any management. I just want to put me as a you know, supervisor. So that's a great opportunity that we have, and it's actually a strength for us. Going over to your branding side, will you, will you brand companies and also individuals and you know you deal with you're talking about security of these companies' information, right? Also with the individual, will you even go into the individual branding area? Uh, yes, we will. Because one of the things is, even though Chief Anderson was a nonprofit, that's exactly what we did for them, because of the fact that you know he had artifacts. It was all about him. So we cater to a market that that really understood him as a Tuskegee Airman. So personal branding is one of the big areas that I would like to get into uh, because of the fact I think sometimes it gets overlooked. But yes, individuals to small businesses. I really don't want to get into any of like IBM has a small business unit. They do marketing and advertising. I don't really want to get into that market. I want to stay small because of the fact of how many small businesses there are and it gives us the opportunity to grow and expand. So I'm not the guy that wants to have a, a worldwide company. I just want to fill gaps for companies and small businesses. So I've kind of niched myself in that, that small area where I want a personalized service. I don't really want to get to the point where our team of core individuals is kind of pushed everywhere. I want to give you the best service. I want to be able to give you what you want so that in the beginning you see where you, where you, where you are at that moment. But I want to take you to where you need to be and where you think you should be by the tools and things that I have available uh, at my disposal. And to follow up, is that security component Yes. Will, will that security component be involved with the, whomever that client is that you personally bring? Yes. So for small businesses, a lot of them, when they may not have the money to start off with our larger packages. So a lot of our, our, our stuff is packaged. So a uh, $20,000 package, you can start off with a $5,000 package and build up to a $25,000 package. Because I'm going to meet you where you are, and I'm going to help you grow your brand. So it's a relationship that we're building to get you to the ultimate level of, of 25000 and so on. So it's a relationship that I'm trying to form opposed to just taking your money. 